Access granted. They send you? If you're talking about your former buddies at Bell Tower, the answer is no. Wait a minute. You're Jensen, right? I heard that some of my former buddies have been looking for you. Could be. What's it to you? When a stranger sojourns with you and your land, you shall not do him wrong. You've dropped the Merc gig to become a man of the cloth? I just have an interest in theology, and I love quoting the book. Everything in it is so evocative. Now, tell me, are you here to stop me? That I am. Then perhaps you should reconsider. There are many of us, and only one of you. At this moment, my men and I have no quarrel with you. So you don't have to die for a war that isn't yours. I said I was here to stalk you, not fight you. A friend of yours sent me to convince you to turn yourself in. Let me guess. Dr. Wing, right? He's a good man. And I know he's only trying to do what he thinks is right. But he doesn't quite grasp the whole picture here. Then why don't you enlighten me? Start by explaining why you went rogue. When an average man decides he no longer shares his employer's views and opts to leave, we say he's handing in his resignation. When men like us do the same, it's called going rogue. You can't quit a job like ours, Jensen. You know that. Yeah, okay, I can relate. But you still haven't answered my question. And what do you mean when you say you no longer share your employer's view? Back in the U.S. when I first got into the Army, I did it because I wanted to serve my country. I believed in its values. I believed in its government. Back then I believed that by serving my government, I was serving the people it was supposed to protect. Nice sentiment. But you don't work for the U.S. anymore, you work for Bell Tower. Times change, Jensen. You know the story. Capitalism's final encroachment on one of the most lucrative industries in the history of mankind. War got privatized. 
The U.S. military offloaded its special operations to PMCs like Blue Water Global and Bell Tower. I believe that as long as they were working for the government, they were serving the same cause. So when they offered me the chance to work on major operations at twice the pay grade, I made my jump. Once again, nice story, but none of it justifies what you've done. Right now, I'm giving you a chance to do the right thing and turn yourself in. I'm afraid I can't do that, Jensen. I respect you for coming here and doing what you think is right. But you gotta understand, I'm trying to do the same thing. Really? Okay then. Why don't we skip ahead to when things turn sour? Bell Tower outfitted us with top-notch augmentations. The kind of stuff civilians never hear about. Gave us a massive edge over the enemy. Later. Seeing as my unit was one of the most successful ones, they selected us for a special program. Top secret. Experimental tech. Told us we would get to work on critical black ops for the US government. But there was a price to pay. Go on. We had to be implanted with a neural hub that manipulates memory centers in the brain. Basically controlling what you can and cannot remember. And you agreed to this? Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. The augmentation was supposed to keep us safe, make sure we'd never remember details if we fell behind enemy lines. That was the main function. The second one, the one they didn't tell us about, was to lower our inhibitions. Make us more receptive to orders we'd likely disobey. Bell Tower turned us into the perfect mercs. If you were so perfect, and the hub made you so perfect, how did it fail? How come they didn't hurt for the whole agency? I told you the tech was experimental. After a couple of ops, I started experiencing memory shifts, remembering bits and fragments of past operations. Slowly, I realized some of these operations couldn't logically have been orchestrated by the government, and I was asked to do highly questionable things, even by professional standards. Aren't we all? Not like this, Jensen. Our services have been sold to corrupt officials in the American and Chinese governments. A combination of lies and use of the neural og made sure we complied. We were working for a shadow government. Individuals corrupted by a quest for personal power. So how'd you get out of it? I confronted the project director. He quoted Apocalypse Now. You have to have men who are moral, and at the same time who are able to utilize their primordial instincts to kill without feeling. I forced him to disconnect the hub, for me and my squad mates here. And then I killed him. I went through his files and contacts. I know who these corrupt men are now. They've turned us into killing machines, and now they'll get to experience their experiment firsthand. Dr. Wing said our situations would resonate. I don't think he realized it might go both ways. Some men deserve the justice we bring on them. Do what you have to do, Zelazny. I won't get in your way. I appreciate that, Jensen. I didn't want you to die for a cause that isn't yours. These men I killed, and these men I'm going to kill. They have names, families, their people. Their deaths shouldn't be erased from my memory by some electronic software. They should haunt me, taunt me, until I finally meet our Lord and pay for my sins. But the men behind this, they deserve to die, and I think there's poetry in the fact that they engineered their own demise. You want a tongs, boys? No. I just like hanging out in the sewers because they smell better than what I eat for breakfast. Any other stupid questions? Not yet. But if I come up with one, I'll be sure to ask. Where's the kid? We thought he was in the upper city. Holed up nice and tight inside the bell tower compound. 
But as it turned out, the fox got nervous. Didn't like the look of Tong's flex stick, so they moved his son someplace safer. What could be safer than inside Bell Tower headquarters? You're about to find out, Migrant. They're holding him just around that corner in the basement of an old noodle factory. Won't be easy getting him out either, because the men guarding him aren't your typical Bell Tower police. These are warriors. Specially trained. Heavily augmented. I have a feeling I may have met them before. If that's the case, you got an escape plan? You are the escape plan, my friend. Didn't Tong tell you? If Bell Tower finds out anyone else is involved, things are going to get very ugly in Lower Hengsha. So Tong's willing to risk his kid's life on one man's abilities? Not necessarily. When you get to Tong's son, give him this. He'll know what to do with it. Now get going! Wouldn't want you to miss your next ride. You tell us, kid. So my mother keeps telling me, but you are neither bell tower nor Chinese. Am I to assume my honored father is covering his back by sending you into spring me instead of his harvesters? Wise assumption. Let's get out of here. I don't think so. Last time I checked, bell tower had a lot of firepower out there. You may have been able to slip past them with ease, but I'm thinking it's safer in here. No offense, American. None taken. I wasn't crazy about the odds myself, but when I questioned it, I was told to give you this. Well, well. <laughs> Way to go, father. This changes everything. Assuming they reassembled it correctly. You ready to go? I'd feel a lot more confident about things if I knew what the device was and exactly what you intend to do with it. You mean they didn't tell you? Not surprising, I suppose, given how much Father enjoys his little secrets. I assume you've noticed how his harvesters like to repurpose existing technology? 
If you mean steal it from other people and sell it to new customers, then yeah, I noticed. Not necessarily a practice I approve of, but not everything gets resold. Sometimes it is taken apart and reassembled into something more useful. A handheld version, for instance, that doesn't need to be implanted in the human body to work. You're still not telling me what that thing is. Easier if I just show you. So, shall we leave? Tell me something first. How the hell was Bell Tower able to nab you? Whatever do you mean? Come on, kid. I may not be 100% up on the triads, but I'm betting your dad's not far from becoming a dragon head. I find it highly unlikely that the local authorities could just waltz in and take off with his son. Under normal circumstances, you would be right. But in this case, I'm the one who walks over to them. You volunteered to be kidnapped? Why? Let's just say, my father and I do not share the same love of augmentations. I find them dangerous and not something our family should be putting so much trust in. But father expects me to... How do you say it? Follow in his footprints? So a change of scenery is required. I'm not following you. Tong Si Hong would never willingly allow his only son to leave his side. I needed a way to convince him that I had to leave Hong Sha immediately. So you orchestrated the kidnapping. You're playing with fire, kid. By pitting the triads against Bell Tower, you've put the entire population of Lower Heng Sha at risk. That... may be true. But you are here to rescue me, aren't you? So my plan seems to be working this far. Right. And sometimes the more power you think you have, the more quickly it slips from your grasp. I will... Try to remember that, American. Are you ready to go now? Yeah, but stick close. Your father and I have some unfinished business to take care of, and it all goes to shit if I don't get you back to him in one piece. Don't worry about that. I'll make sure father sticks to his promise. Maybe even get him to throw in a little extra. But as grateful as I am for your assistance, from here on in it's every man for himself. See you later. Should be here. A device which transmits... 
You have found Zelazny? I cannot stress enough the importance of this task, Mr. Jensen. I found him. Really, Mr. Jensen? You have been able to make him understand reason? Will he turn himself in? They were already gone when I got there. I looked around a bit, but I couldn't find them. This is most unfortunate, Mr. Jensen. I'm afraid they will cause further chaos and dissension. I hope they are stopped before this happens. Here is a Praxis Kit. It's all I have. Returning to tonight's biggest school. Best in town. Bye bye. I see you soon. Nanda, may you have
You have talent, Jensen. You ever need a job, you tell me. I'll hook you up. I take it the kid made it back in one piece? He says I owe you a weapon. I always repay my debts. With interest. That's one debt paid. Now tell me what you know. Bell Tower keeps two ships in port. They think nobody notices, but I keep an eye. Every couple of days, one of them loads up in the middle of the night and sails out. Heading where? A wise man doesn't ask. I just know the Hayes and Sue pulls out tonight. And where she make port, I bet you find your scientists. That's a whole lot of maybe, Tong. True. But maybe you lucky more times than I can count. Bell Tower runs tight security. How do you expect me to get on their ship? One of my boys will leave a package inside a locker for you in an equipment shed. You find it, we talk, and I tell you what to do next. I'll be waiting with bated breath, I'm sure. could teach my boys some tricks, Jensen. Tong? How did you get this frequency? 
ancient Chinese secret. Now listen, you're going to plant that package in Administrator Wang's office. Put it on the bastard's desk and trigger it. Sound good? Sounds like I'm doing you a favor. How does it help me? The explosion. Should distract the guards. Then you hop in a cargo pod and off you go. But you only got one shot. No turning back once you trigger that thing, you get me? I got you. Only set it if I'm ready to go. Distraction wasn't just for me, was it, Tom?
Richard, I'm going off the grid for a while. Not sure how long. Why? What are you up to, Jensen? Following a lead. And where exactly is this lead taking you? You there! Get that cargo, clear the fire! We're pulling out now! Load it! Secure those bonds! Answer me, Jensen. Where are you going? Hell if I know, Pritchard. Hell if I know. Curious who she might be. Who are you? And what are you doing on my ship? Bell Tower keeps two ships in port. They're going to plant that package in Administrator Wang's office. Then you hop in a cargo pod and off you go. And where she may port, I bet you find your scientist. You're the cruise director? I've got a complaint. You think you're funny, do you? Well, let's see how funny you feel after Lieutenant Keitner gets through with you. Lieutenant? It's useless to resist. This chair has a built-in EMP field generator. Your augs are nothing but dead metal right now. Is that so? No doubt they will have reset to Factory Zero. You need a limb clinic. You can't have it both ways, you know. You can't play the good cop when you've been playing the bad cop. <laughs> you think you're clever, don't you? But this ship is heading to a Bell Tower naval base. A military facility for the confinement and interrogation of unprivileged belligerents. And when we get there, we're going to take you apart. You'll have to get me there first. You're outnumbered and outgunned. I don't think it'll be a problem. Still, when they found you in that cargo container, you did manage to take out a number of highly trained men. Tell me something, Hotshot. Do you enjoy taking people's lives? Doesn't keep me awake at night when I do. How about you, sweetie? I'm not the one planting bombs and blowing up dockyards, darling. Don't know what you're talking about. Like hell you don't. We may not know who you are, yet. But Burke's running your profile as we speak. High-grade combat spec augmentations, built to be somewhat unnoticeable so you blend in with the sieves. Someone spent an awful lot of money creating you. Lucky me. So I guess the real question is, are you a terrorist? Or some kind of corporate thief? Shut off the EMP generator. We'll find out. You have absolutely no idea of the shit you're in, do you? Rifleman Bank Station is a black site. It's off the grid. No one will come and rescue you. No one even knows where it is. You'll be dropped into a deep, dark hole and never see the light of day again. Stew on that for a while, tough guy. Commander Burke and I are returning to the base. Keep a close eye on him. You've secured his gear? Yes, sir. Locked in one of the rooms upstairs, sir. Good. And you have your orders. <sighs> Pritchard. Are you there? Pritchard. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> 